Hi pandas! Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you decided to join me again. It is a gorgeous November afternoon. I had to adjust my blinds because it was like hitting me right in the <laughs> right in the face. But um, today I went to a Dollar Tree and so I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. I haven't done that in a long time um bought little stuff at dollar tree but it is so cool because they have so many things that work great for littles um and they're only a dollar so you know you really can't lose so let me share what i found so some of it is christmas and normally i don't do christmas before thanksgiving but if you shop at dollar tree you know if you see something you want and you don't get it then the likelihood of it being there when you are ready for it is pretty small. So when I see stuff I want, I go ahead and get it, even if I'm not ready for that season yet, if that makes sense. So I found these two super cute books. So this one is something for Santa, and it has 30 stickers, a postcard, and a recipe inside in addition to the story. And my amazing uh, caregiver hi honey um bought a couple of storybooks um while he is out on the road so that he could read me bedtime stories and i am so excited for that and so i wanted to add these to our collection because they're beautiful books and you can't beat the price right and this one is the lost letter to santa and it also has um 30 stickers a postcard and recipe inside so i thought those were really cute and so i got those for our book collection and then they had these i had never seen these before these are called kick back and color and they're christmas themed they've got really fun pictures inside um, with all different designs. They're pretty detailed. Um, so they're, you know, more like the adult type coloring books, but I thought they looked like a lot of fun. And then they come with a free download of songs. So this one comes with Let's Build a Snowman, Santa's Coming, Deck the Halls, um, Christmas is coming and I hope it snows on Christmas Day and so it has a website with a code and you can download the songs and listen to the songs while you're coloring so I thought well that's kind of cool so they had two different ones they had that one and they had this one and this one has up on the housetop um, sing 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 a song jingle bells the 12 days of Christmas jolly old Saint Nicholas and again it's got tons of different designs. Some of them remind me kind of of the Zentangle designs. I think this little guy was in the last one. Super cute little hedgehog. But I thought those would be kind of fun um, once we get into the Christmas season. And then the last one I got is this one, which is a sticker Tivity sticker by number um, for Christmas. And so it has these cute little scenes and then numbered areas where you add the stickers. So I like to do is follow the numbers and then here's all the stickers for that. So I thought that would be really fun too during the holiday season and I, like I said I wanted to grab those while I saw them because in a month or so they may not be there anymore and then I would be sad. All right, so I think that's all I have that's Christmas. Oh, wait, no, technically this is Christmas, but that's not why I bought it. So I made a um, column bottle. If you saw the pictures of my, um, or not pictures, saw the video of my little office space, I make those um, column bottles, or sometimes they're called sensory bottles. And I made one with these um, little snowflake sequins that's kind of like frozen themed. Well, I found these. This is faux snow. It's these little like styrofoam balls. So I'm going to add these to my frozen calm bottle and it'll have like, um, cause I like to mix and match different textures and things so that it falls at different speeds and it looks really cool. Um, my guess is that these are just gonna float and so the other stuff will kind of move them around. Um, but I'm going to add these to my frozen bottle. And I'm going to do another video where I show the bottles I've already made. And then um, we're going to make some together. Because I have a brand new um, grandbaby. It is so awesome to be a little 
and have, you know, little babies around because then, you know, you kind of have more of an excuse to do all the cool little stuff, which is so much fun. But I want to make her some um, sensory bottles and calm bottles for Christmas coming up because she will be right at that age where that would be super cool. Um, and so I'll share that project with you so you can see how I make them and make some of your own. And I found these little packets of beads, iridescent beads that I thought were so pretty. And they're three different sizes. So there's the clear iridescent ones. There's 165 of those. And then there's the medium pink iridescent. And there's 120 of those. And then there's the larger turquoise um, and there's 82 of those. So I thought those together with some glitter would be really pretty in one of those um, bottles. So I found that. And then they have these little figures. I don't know if you've ever seen these. But they do different um, movies. So obviously this is Monsters, Inc. Which, and this is Mike Wazowski. And then Boo... So cute in her little monster outfit. And then, of course, you can't have Monsters, Inc. without Sully. So I thought those were really fun. And then I also got some from... Um, this one is actually not for me. This is from Minions. My mom has kind of an addiction to minions and so anytime I find her cute little minion stuff I get it for her and so I'm going to add this to her Christmas present because I just thought he was so cute with the little teddy bear so I'm going to do that and then there also had the Finding, um, Finding Nemo so obviously this is Dory we had a cat named Dory for a long time she was so sweet but also um you know, not the sharpest <laughs> all the time. <laughs> so she kind of was funny that way, but we loved her so much. I'm looking for, I had another one. Oh, maybe it's in here. I've got multiple bags because I kind of went crazy and, you know, probably not the best, but I did it anyway. You know, every once in a while we have to spoil ourselves, right? Um, so this is Nemo from that same set. And this is Marlin with his little worried face on. <laughs> Those are so cute. But I have lots of shelves in my bedroom that I can add little stuff like that. And I've got Care Bears and other fun things. Um, oh, I lied. I do have more Christmas. <laughs> so I love Dollar Tree's low cut socks. They fit really well and they are super cute. They had this one with the gnome. I love these gnomes. I'm going to make some for Christmas this year. And then of course, you know, if it has a panda, it needs to be mine. So <laughs> it says love and joy and has the sweetest little panda face on it. So I had to have that. And then, the, you know how I feel about LOLs. So this is an LOL play pack. It has four crayons, one sticker sheet, and then the 24-page coloring book. So the coloring book will probably go in my little space backpack. And those stickers are going to go into my planner so I can see them all the time. They are adorable not a big fan of the crayons that come in those play packs um but I have a huge box of Crayola crayons of course of course so you know how much I like these little blind bags so they had two different ones that I wanted to check out and I got two of each there's two of the puppy friends club and then there's two of the unicorn dolls. So I think those will be a very fun to check out in just a second. And then I found this really cute hairbrush. Look at the rainbow bristles. My hair is really thick, so this probably will not work for my hair, but I have some dolls in desperate need of a good hairbrush. So that may be what happens with that. And then this was in their art section. It's this little tiny easel and this little canvas. It says, you are magical. So that is definitely going to get painted up and glittered up and put on my shelves with all my other stuff. And of course, I 
have a weakness for red vines and so anytime I go to Dollar Tree I have to get red vines because I just I just do. I'm sure you have, you know, your treats that you have to get every chance you get as well. So look at this. I had not seen this before. It says stay magical, keep calm and be a unicorn. And then you can like hang little pictures. So my honey is on the road, but when he comes home, we're going to take pictures together and then I can hang them on here and put them up in my room. And then I found this super cute keychain. I hang these on my backpack. I have to share my backpack with you. I have an Ida bag backpack that um, has uh, Funko Paco Pocket Pops. That's a big, <laughs> that's a mouthful. Funko Pocket Pops in it. And I need to share that with you. So that will be an upcoming video as well. So I found this very cute, very fluffy pink pen. So I can write love notes to my honey. And then I found a couple of new pacifiers. I found this one, which is Winnie the Pooh and pastel colors. I thought he was so cute. And then I found the, this one that says sassy pants on it. <laughs> you know, we all have those days. <laughs> so I thought that was really fun. And then they had these in the baby section. They weren't with the hair accessories. They were in the baby section, but they're hair clips, like all rolled up ribbon, and they make little butterflies. So these will be really cute, especially in the spring. I'm always looking for cute um, hair clips. You know, just today I have like little rainbow ones. And then I hadn't seen this before either. I've gotten the bath bombs um, from Dollar Tree that were the unicorn shaped ones and had glitter in them. But this is glitter bath fizzer. It says you drop it into your bath and add a wonderful scent to your body and a bath. I don't know what the wonderful scent is, but we will find out. But it's Unicorn Glitter Bath Fizzer. So I thought that might be kind of fun for one of my bath times. Don't you know? Okay, and then in their party section, they had... I don't know, I hope I didn't smash him. Eh, slightly smashed. I will just bend it back. So this is that, um, it's felt, but it's stiff. And obviously it's a unicorn with fabulous gold glitter. So I think this would be neat hanging in my room. You know, because you can never have enough glitter or pink or unicorns. <laughs> and that's got all three. And what else did I find? Oh, do you remember color forms? Color forms were like a big deal when I was little. Like actually little, not little like I am now. They had color forms for, they had like eight different ones. I got, I got six of them because I could not resist. I am so excited to play with these. So this is the Frozen 2 color forms set. It comes with um, three scenes and then it comes with all of the characters in color forms. And color forms are like, um, they're like vinyl and then they just stick to the, almost like window clings, um, so that you can take them off and use them again and again and again. So they're not like stickers. They're easily reusable and amazing. And then they had this little monster set. And again, it has three different scenes and then all the little monster characters and the little scenery pieces you can kind of like tell stories with your different characters and they had this little jungle set I just thought they were so cute and I haven't seen color forms for years here's the trolls world tour if you have not seen this movie you need to check it out it was so cute super cute 
and of course I loved hearing all the different styles of music and um, that was so much fun too and then of course My Little Pony the two that I didn't get were a Mickey Mouse set and a Minnie Mouse set because I thought you know six is probably enough probably and then of course they've got a unicorn set with the different scenes and all the different little color forms. So much fun. So much fun. And then I found this little girl. She is, um, <laughs> her hair is so much fun. She kind of reminds me of, um, Fancy Nancy. But anyway, she's got a clip on her so she can also ride along on my backpack if I decide that's where she's going to go. I just thought her little face was so cute and her hair is just wild. And they had these in different colors too, like the whole rainbow. They had a ton of colors of these, but I just got the purple one today because I thought she went with my purple hair. And then you've probably seen these little wooden boxes in their craft area. So this is a drawer that pulls out. I bought three of these. I'm going to do a project and make like this little tower they come with different designs like there's a star and there's a heart and i think there was a butterfly so i'm going to make a tower and paint it up and hook them together and i'm going to store all those little things that come with the lol surprise dolls and with the um some new ones all these little things mm, that you don't know what to do with and you don't want to lose them yeah they're going to go into these little drawers. And so maybe I'll do a video of that also showing that project. Um, Cause I'm sure that you have tons of little things that you could use fun storage for too. Um, whether it's for your toys or if it's for like um, hair accessories or jewelry, you know, we always need more storage for little space. And then they also had, um, I have so much washi tape. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. I have so much washi tape. I am, but anytime I see washi tape at Dollar Tree, because you know if you buy washi tape at the craft store, it's like six bucks a roll. Um, but they had unicorns, and so I had to add it to my collection because you know that just seems to be a thing. And then they also had in their craft section. Look at this. This is like one of those pressed wood forms it says it's wood it's not really it's like sawdust and something pressed together but it's like wood anyway so this is a super cute little unicorn shape and so I'm gonna paint her up Ooh, I might put my name on her and use it and put it in my room it's super hard to find stuff with my name on it anytime I find something with my name on it I buy it because it is so rare all right, so now we've got these little blind bags. Um, so I've got, this is the Puppy Friends Club, and there's eight puppies and eight dog houses. So this one comes with this little orange dog house. And then inside is the little puppy. And he's in a plastic baggie. Of course, they always have to be in these crinkly, loud plastic things. Okay, so he's a little white and gray puppy. You see him? And he's flocked, so he's super soft. Remember when I was talking about in my last video about how this kind of needed a little, like, pet? See? I was right. This was just asking for that. So this is the puppy club. This is the little puppy that goes in here. Oops. There he is. Oh, that is so cute. And then, so that was that one. Oh, wait. What kind of puppy is that? He is a Shih Tzu. According to the back of the bag, he is the Shih Tzu. Okay, so I only got two of each of these because I just wanted to check them out. Oh, this one's pink. I like pink. So the little house on this one is pink. The dog is upside down. I kind of feel bad about that. Um, not that I put him in there, but you know how it is. And 
<laughs> come on, come on, girl. Okay. Well, I don't know if it's a girl, but it is in a pink house, so maybe. So this one is gray and also flocked and super cute. This one is, it is not. Hmm. Looking at the pictures, the light dog house goes with a schnauzer, but this dog is not the schnauzer. This dog is the Rottweiler, but should have been in an orange house. I am so confused right now. Oh, but it also came with these little stickers so that you can add details to your little dog house. I did not see that. I'm going to have to get that other bag. I just tossed it in the garbage. Okay. So we have the Rottweiler and the Shih Tzu in their little houses. So cute. Those are perfect size for the LOL dolls, but I think I threw away the stickers for the orange one. I'm going to have to find those. Okay. And then we've got the unicorn dolls. So apparently there is a gold doll in one of the packs and there's nine unicorn dolls all together. And four winged, ooh, there's a special rainbow doll. That would be cool. This one's not rainbow, but she is very pretty and she has purple hair like me. There she is. So she's got little cat ears and a little unicorn headband. Wearing a little dress and she's got little tiny kawaii style wings in the back. So it says on the back that her name is Violet. So that is Violet. So sweet. And then the other one. Also not the rainbow one, but that's okay. I swear they make these bags panda proof on purpose. That was a lot of peas in that. Sorry. Okay, so here is the other one. Her name is Megan. So this is Megan. She also has the little kitty ears and the unicorn horn, which I guess makes her a catacorn. And she has the little, chi what's that, chibi wings? That's what that reminds me of. And her cute little green and red dress. She is very colorful. Actually, they both are super sweet. I like her hairstyle though. She's got like the little buns, which I think is really fun. And then the last thing I got was they have these hats with the little pom pom ball on top. I bought two of them. Do you know why? This is going to be another one of my projects. I'll show it to you later, but I'm going to take the pom pom off of one of the hats. Actually, I'm going to take the pom poms off both hats. And then I'm going to put them back on, on the sides instead of in the center, so that it is like a panda hat. So a pink and gray panda hat, and it will have the pom two pom-poms. So I'm super excited for that too, and I think that'll be really fun. And then I'll do something fun with the other hat that will be pom-pom-less. I'm sure that's a word. Um, or at least I'm saying it's a word. Sound good? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining me. That is my little haul for today. And if you have found something amazing at Dollar Tree that your little just loves, put it down below in the comments because I'd love to know what it is. And I hope to see you next time. Subscribe so that you know when new videos are coming. Because I'm really hoping to do more. I'm having so much fun. And um, really love spending time with you. And until then, I hope you have an amazing day. Because you totally deserve it. Bye, pandas.